Welcome to another 100 push-ups. Welcome, guys. This is day number eight. We're, we're going to keep pushing. It's all good. And today I'm kind of late. And I was thinking about what I should talk about today. And there are many topics that went through my head. But I want to talk about the specific one. Because... This is what I'm actually feeling right now, and I want to share my thoughts on that. So what I want to talk about today is why you're losing willpower throughout the day and how you can increase it, have more of it, and not give in to your weaknesses. So you got to imagine your willpower like, all right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's do this. Let's talk about do you know how you want to like do like you want to work out you have like other plans you want to read you want to i don't know you want to do like all these things on your to-do list or like the things that you said like you're gonna do but let's take working out and you know how you like after you go to work you come back you don't really feel like going to the gym anymore and you skip it so the big problem here is While you have to imagine you will power like a full bank account every day when you wake up, when you had a good night of sleep, when you had a good relaxing night of sleep, you have a full bank account. And throughout the day, you're making decisions. You always have to like decide what you what you're going to do if it's not planned out. So by the end of the day, when it's time to decide to, the, to go to the gym, if it wasn't, if it's not something that's in your routine, if it's not something that is like that you were planning to do, but you're like, let's see if I'm going to go to the gym or if it's not like a set day where you can't negotiate to skip it, then there is a high possibility that you're going to say no to the gym. Because you have spent so much of your willpower throughout the day. And this is normal. If you're not aware of it, it's not your fault. You didn't know about this. It's all cool. But now that you know, how can you fix it? So whenever you're like planning to do something, whether it's like going to the gym, cleaning your house, doing groceries, doing laundry, whatever it is, one thing that really helps is have a set day for the week. Maybe it's like uh, something that continuously goes like throughout every week or that you're that you're planning at the beginning of the week where you like maybe you're somebody who's planning it like week after week, like week by week, what you're going to do. And some people have like their set days. So once you have your set days at a, a certain time, then you can you'll have an easier time to go to the gym because the decision to the the decision was already made so you don't have to waste any brain calories any willpower into it and now you can keep that energy and use what you have left from the day and use it in the gym another way and dude like i'm going through this topic whatever Another way is also like to sign up for classes, like do something that's in a group. Like if when it when we're talking about the gym, something or whatever it is, if it's like work or something and you're an entrepreneur, you want to build your business. Then it's also good like to do something in a group or where you have an accountability partner or something. Because when you're inside of a group, excuse me, when you're inside of a group, then you will, the energy of the group is going to pull you. You don't have to push anymore. So let's say you still go to the gym because you had a set day where you decided you're going to go. So, all right, you save the willpower there, but now you still need willpower to move these weights or whatever sport you do. It's still, you need, still need to push. But if you're in a group, if you're in a group, like a group class, like a boxing class, whatever, yoga class, whatever it is, this group is going to pull you. 
So now there are like two ways. Uh, now there's a way how you can like have control of your willpower and know how to save it and how to use it efficiently. And then also like how to trick the system by if you don't, when you don't have any willpower anymore, how you can still get the best out of your workout or your work or whatever it is. So let's do a hundred pushups. And let me tell you something. I did not have the willpower to start this video, but here we are. Let's go. I don't know if you'd consider them as clean. You'll be the judge. Put it in the comments. If you say it wasn't, well, then I know I need to pay more attention. Yes. So think about, all right, remember this. Your willpower at the beginning of the day, it's like your full bank account. And every decision you make throughout the day is taking money off your bank account. And then if you weren't smart about it, then by the end of the day, you might not have so much left. And that's why you're feeling so exhausted and you rather want to sit on the couch and turn on Netflix instead of pushing through a hard workout in the gym. But so it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to, like when you go to work and everything that you have to spend all your willpower there. You can automate things, get a system, because once you're in a system, you do things efficiently and you can like you can flow throughout the, through the day. So by the end of the day, you when the, when you're going through the motions, that, that, that means you haven't used any additional energy. You might have even saved energy because you do it because you perfected it and make it and do it the most efficient way you can do. So this is a way how you can get your willpower up and have it for the end of the day. But if there's something you need to do creatively, like you have to be creative, you need a lot of energy, then my advice would be to get up earlier and get that stuff done before everything else in your day starts. And with that, I'm doing the final push-ups. We got 30 left. And then signing off for today. We're talking tomorrow. I'm having more fun doing these videos, paying attention to my language, to my expressions, to look into the camera, and also not to have any, see, like, I don't want to stop too much, but it's stopping is better than saying, um, so, here we go. I think I did a good job today. You can be proud. I'm proud of myself and you can be proud of yourself too. Really like this channel. I've been thinking what I should do with this channel. And really it's about like, I can, I really believe I can influence the world. I can help you guys. That doesn't mean you need the help, but I can definitely be a, a benefit for you and we are a really good source of knowledge inspiration motivation energy self-belief and to find your authentic self i'm telling you one thing 
that's really, really important to me is to not lose myself to the system, to keep myself and be who I am and live it out the most authentic way. And you can do it too. We live in a fake world. However, if you're being authentic, if you're being true to yourself, you are not like you're not only going to get rewarded by the world. I'm telling you, like people are going to love you, but you're going to save your soul. You're going to reward your soul. You're going to have peace inside of you and sleep well. With that, let's do the final 30 push-ups. Let's go. And then if you found me, if you like this video, please leave a like. Also, put a comment in the comment section. I want to know what you want to hear about. Like, yes, it's cool to talk about the stuff I know, but let's see what you want to know about. And then let me share my thoughts, bring my expertise from psychology, from sports psychology, what I learned in life, in martial arts. So I want to be able, I want to be really good at explaining things, being logical, making sense, so you guys can also live a better life. Let's go, 30 more. Let's go, baby. Ten. Twenty. Nine. One hundred. Let's go. I hope you guys find me. Because this channel is gonna be big. Think and grow strong. doesn't turn off. <laughs>